Hi everyone, so I just want to go over one of these if and else um, statements. So in one of the power PowerPoints here, I made this like if and else statement to guess, to see if the guess is true or not. And this is a really good example because I've seen some students, um, instead of actually doing an equals to sign here, they're actually just doing equals. This is not the same. This is actually assigning the variable guess to the value of four. But this is actually checking. You have to have either two or three. So this one is equals to, or this one is strictly equal to. You need to watch the videos on, it is the comparison operators. There is comparison operator examples, which are right here. So comparison operators, I go through some examples on how to do this. There's six examples there and I want you to really understand like what are some of the symbols there and it's also in like I believe week one and week two of the class video which you need to re-watch in order to fully understand. So let's go through one of the examples here. I'm just going to pick a random number guess and then we're going to double check to see if it is equal to and if it is then let's console log something out or write a sentence. So I'm going to write this on Visual Studio Code here. Okay, so let's do a guessing game here. And let's say if var guess is equal to, let's do another one, var guess is equal to six. So that's the initialized um, guess that we're trying to see if it is. And an if and else statement, um, you, you set it up as if, and then these brackets, and then the curly brace brackets afterwards. And as a good practice, if you want to be a good developer, you should always have the else statement, but that's really a debate between like web and software developers, but I would always recommend the else. But here in this if statement, we want to check to see if guess is equal to six. So what we want to do is we want to do guess is equal to six. And right here, if it's equal to six, we want to do something. So let's actually, it's actually better practice if you have a variable outside the if and else statement. So sent var sentence is just empty right now. And right here, if we actually check to see if guess is equal to six, we want to um, now write something in the sentence. And let's write, you guessed right you guessed right, period, and semicolon at the end. Else sentence is equal to you guessed wrong. Now, what we want to do is actually console log out the sentence. And I uh, just need to put a period there. So there we go. So what we want to do is we want to check to see is the guess equal to six. So this, within this bracket, it's checking to see if it is true or false. And if it is true, it will read what's in here. If it's false, then it's not even, it's not even gonna go inside these brackets. It's gonna skip this and it'll go directly to else because else is not checking anything because there's no um, brackets like these to do any type of checking. So it automatically defaults to the else statement and it, it will take this sentence and now it'll grab whatever sentence is um, given to it. So when we actually do the console log here, so console.log, uh, sorry, we need to do node, so node test.js and we hit enter. You can see here, you guessed right. So you have to make sure you're either checking with equals to or strictly equals to. Um, please rewatch the video from week one or week two or week three, or there's more videos on my YouTube channel talking about this as well. It's really important you understand this. So if we change this to like maybe a seven, you should see that does six here equal to the value of six here? No, it's a seven. Six and seven are not equal, they are different. So that means it will actually go to this else statement. So if we save this, 
and do node test.js, it says you guessed wrong. Now what happens if we do six here? Now what we can do is we could change this to a six value here and you can do any type of checking you want really. You can even check to see if guess is greater than six. If we do this, you guessed wrong because six does not equal six. So if we do equals two again, this um, will give the answer as to you guessed right. So we'll run it again so I can show you. And there you go. And also just something to be aware of, you should not write it as just guess is equal to six because that's not what we're trying to do. This is called assigning something. You have to go back to lecture one to really understand what the difference is between initializing, declaring, and assigning because this is not how you do it. You have to understand how to compare something and if we do node test.js it will say you guessed right but that's not that's not what how we do things. You're trying to compare something so you have to do the strictly either equal to or strictly equal to or greater than or less than signs and it's really important that you understand how how to do this because you really need to get good at these if and else statements for future classes.